new study has revealed that 8,000 newborn babies die every day around the world. The death rate in some poor countries remains 50 times that of richer ones. Our science reporter Tariq Basley has the details. Researchers collected data from 195 countries. It revealed that 2.9 million babies die each year in their first 28 days of life. On top of the estimated 2.6 million stillbirths, fetuses dying before delivery. Just under half of these died during labour. The researchers had to estimate these figures because in most countries stillbirths don't get a birth or a death certificate. This means they aren't included in official statistics. The fact that they don't have a birth certificate or a death certificate doesn't just make the data more difficult, it actually signifies that society in a way is accepting those deaths as if they were just something inevitable. Overall, the report found that death rates of newborns have declined in the last 25 years, but half of the world's deaths still occur in just five countries. These were India, Nigeria, Pakistan, China and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They also found that most of the highest death rates were in countries in sub-Saharan Africa, especially those affected by conflict. The focus is around the time of birth. It's the greatest risk for women, it's the greatest risk for babies, both the stillbirth and the neonatal death, and it's also the greatest risk for disability. So as we move forward, we don't just want babies to survive, we want them to thrive and be able to contribute to the economic development of their countries. The researchers identified a few key innovations they say will help improve child survival. These include simpler resuscitation techniques and better care of neonatal infections. They say these are both vital to ensure a healthy start in life for every newborn.